As we showed you in the wake of the recent Israel-Hamas war, anti-Israel and anti-Semitic incidents have spiked around the world. But as CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl shows, the relations between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, formalized in the Abraham Accords, are growing. Ambassador Eitan Na'e is Israel's first diplomat to the United Arab Emirates. CDN News spoke with Na'e on a trip to Abu Dhabi regarding the reaction of the UAE to the recent conflict with Hamas. I visited the Salon here during the campaign, the Gaza campaign, and I heard the things that I don't think that Israelis heard, uh, heard before. So the, the whole time until the Abraham Accords, we only got one side, the Palestinian side. And now for the first time, we can hear the other side, the Israeli side. Last year, Israel, the UAE, and other Arab countries established diplomatic ties known as the Abraham Accords. Na'e described those ties as an effort by what he called the people of tomorrow to depart from the rocket-firing people of yesterday. It doesn't mean that there are not that many people who will try to challenge it, who will try to, to test it, but the thing of the determination is here, the strategic decision is here, and we are back to normal to build relations, to sign agreements, to create contacts, to build our embassy here. So we are continuing, and that's the messages we get from our Emirati counterparts. In the last seven months, Na'e said, Israel has been able to advance the idea that there are two sides to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He said the foreign ministry's Arabic pages on social media had 56 million views in the last few days. The Israeli narrative, in spite of what seemed to be to the contrary, is getting traction in the Arab street. And I think we should pay attention to that. One sign of the growing relationship is the opening of the first ever Holocaust memorial exhibit in the Arabian Gulf in a museum in Dubai. I think it's very important to recognize and acknowledge you know, and to have the compassion and to have the, the courage also to you know, acknowledge this uh, negative history that happened at that time, history of the massacre, of ethnic cleansing, singling one ethnicity, one religion. This was very, very bad. Na'e, as well as the Jewish community, were invited to the opening. As we can see with this exhibition, is the exact opposite of what we see in Gaza, tolerance, the whole normalization process, the departure from the past, from the wars and the battles and the rockets firing. The exhibit at the Crossroads of Civilizations Museum is designed to raise awareness among local Emiratis and others. It explores the events leading up to the Holocaust and includes a tribute to the Arab heroes who defended and saved Jews. Na'e said it's important to recognize that the Middle East is in a different place, to embrace it and nurture those relations. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. Alpha.